After an incredible night one of Wrestle Kingdom 14, we are back with night two. Bigger and better than ever, and the double gold dash will culminate here tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm Kevin Kelly. Special pregame show, just a few minutes, and we thank you for joining us as we get set for night two of Wrestle Kingdom. Gino Gambino, Chris Charlton here with us. Any whereabouts, Rocky? Ah. Running laps around the building or something. Uh, no, he's not. We'll move on. That's a lie. Um, I don't know how you guys are feeling. Sad. I, well, mentally, oh. <laughs> last night was just overwhelming. Yes. I can only imagine how the athletes that competed last night that also will compete tonight are feeling. But everybody knows this is Tokyo Dome and there's so much at stake. Uh, Two nights in a row, it's a big thing for any competitor, any athlete. Now, we are going to give you spoilers. So if you haven't seen the results from last night, now would be the time to tune out. Three, two. Okay, so as we know, Tetsuya Naito reclaimed the Intercontinental Championship from Switchblade Jay White and Kazuchika Okada defeated Kota Ibushi to uh, retain the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. And Chris, therefore tonight, in our main event, it will be Kazuchika Okada defending the IWGP Heavyweight Championship against the Intercontinental Championship held by Tetsuya Naito. Somebody leaves here with both championships. Right, and Tetsuya Naito is desperately hoping that it will be him, but in the back of his mind, thinking of all that happened at Wrestle Kingdom 12 two years ago. I had a uh, an elevator ride with Tetsuya Naito, and just a little bit, how are you feeling? Tired. Are you hurting? Uh, yes. Where? Everywhere, of, everywhere, yeah. And, and ev everyone will be hurting. We saw Okada last night, 39 minutes against the Bushi in a really hard-hitting match. And then we saw Jay White really work on Naito's knee. And that's going to be a big factor tonight, I think. I think it has to be. And we'll see what happens in that match. There are six titles on the line here tonight for night two of Wrestle Kingdom. But before our double gold main event, there are a pair of special singles matches, which I do want to highlight. The semifinal will be Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Chris Jericho. And this is a match, of course, that was born back in Dominion. The seeds were planted then, and then the challenge issued and accepted. What about the claim the pain maker says he'll make sure this is Tanahashi's last time at the Dome? Well, I think that's a lot of bluster from Chris Jericho and Tanahashi responding with a little bit of bluster and a little bit of maneuvering on his own mm. to try and add a little bit of extra spice in that match. And Chris Jericho assented with a, a little tantalizing golden you know, hint. With the championship that he currently holds in another promotion, it's an interesting thought. It's an interesting dynamic, I guess we could say, and perhaps some subtext to what we will see here tonight. Uh, we did talk about Kota Ibushi. We talked about uh, Jay White. They meet in what, to me, is a number one contender's match. It absolutely has to be, especially after last night. Both men put all of it on the line. I mean, yeah, you're right. Jay White was, you know, shafted by red shoes, but that's another time and whatever. But look, number one contendership tonight and go on to face whoever comes out of this Tokyo Dome with a double gold. Uh, also competing last night, uh, both finding victory. John Moxley regaining the U.S. Heavyweight Championship against uh, Lance Archer in an amazing Texas Death War. And congratulations to Deuce Robinson and David Finley, the new tag team champions, uh, defeating G.O.D. tonight. It's Juice versus Moxley once again. Mox said, tonight we settle it. Right, I mean, this goes back to the original match that was supposed to happen at King of Pro Wrestling before the Typhoon intervened. Moxley got stripped of the title. Now he took back that belt that he never lost and he wants to beat the man. Juice Robinson tonight. Kenta defending the uh, never open weight title against Hiroki Goto, very personal. Oh, absolutely. We saw, well, as you say, Kenta be brought in by Goto's high school friend, Shibata, and you claim he turned his back on him, and now it's time for Goto's revenge. But as I said, Kenta is the man who sits on the Mount Rushmore of Japanese wrestling, and tonight, he's walking away with the gold. IWGP Junior Heavyweight uh, Tag Team titles on the line as well. Taiji Ishimori and El Fantasma defending against Rapongi 3K. Plus, we will also see a never open weight six man tag team gauntlet to start things off. But it is the final night. And we'll end with this thought about Jushin Thunder Liger. His final match will be here tonight. It's just so much emotion, so much emotion building. I'm trying to mute the hashtag, thank you, Liger, because I get teary eyed just looking at it. It's, uh, it's going to be all right. Uh, Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, will defend the British Heavyweight Championship against uh, Sonata. Uh, that and a whole lot more tonight. So. I, on behalf of Rocky, who couldn't be here, uh, Gino and Chris, 
We want to say thank you for joining us for the pre-show, and we'll see you in just a little while from Wrestle Kingdom 14.